so this event, and again, I have my kind of next day impressions over at Sorgatron.com for Verizon Innovations. Uh, it was basically, um, you know, the the main message was, and I talked to you a bit about this before the show, they had these uh, Verizon Innovation Labs going on in Boston and San Francisco. Um, it's, I don't want to call it like an incubator, but it's kind of like an assistant. It, it, it's actually to the point where they have competitions with uh, like high schoolers, uh, you know, promoting STEM and everything and other kind of events and, and, and stuff like that. Uh, and this is the Verizon, I believe this is the Verizon wireless part of it because they're really pushing the ways to use 4G LTE specifically, yeah. right? Like a lot of machine to machine type stuff. Yeah. Things of yeah. that nature. Uh, yeah, exactly. Um, so the to the point where we went in this room, they had a presentation to tell us about this is what the center is, this is what we are. Hey, we're more than just your phones. Um Talk, yeah, they had a bunch of stuff out on the table, which I recognized a lot of it. We talk about a lot of it. They had Wemo there. Mm-hmm. They had uh, a Fitbit, uh, 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 the um, the scale for Fitbit. Mm-hmm. Um, they had some some wireless like drones, which include this little two wheeled one that would jump at you. But everything I, had I it. saw that at the Apple Store. Oh, they were like they were like shooting that at people that weren't paying attention. It was pretty fun. Um, but it looks so mean. Like why do they look so evil? You know, mm-hmm. thanks Verizon. The guys with the droid sound, <laughs> droid. You know, um, they, they're not subtle. That's the problem with Verizon between <laughs> the the droid sound and their their evil drones. Um, home automation stuff. Uh, they had the hue light bulbs. They had the um, they had a uh, a, um, a home alarm system that works off of four G LTE t- chip. I actually got a pitch from somebody at AT and T wireless store about their version of it, mm-hmm. and I. I wasn't terribly interested in jumping on it yet. You know, I'm interested, but I, I grilled them like, like, so what, how does that work? You know, I have one, but we, so we have an alarm system here, They're, but it's, it's wired and I don't have a phone line anymore. See, ours is, ours is wireless because we don't have a phone line. Exactly. But exactly. the the one thing that interests me and, and it must be a major issue all over the place, but it surprises me the number of these companies that are quick to market with a water sensor for you to put in your basement. Yeah. To sense like your basement's flooding, like you better get home and fix it or, or you're going to be flooded. Like that's the one product that I see all these companies doing is, is a cell based, some kind of water detection. We got to no matter where you're at, wherever there's an AT&T store, there's somebody that lives by a river. Mm-hmm. we're very much on top of the hill yes. here flooding if the flooding is happening we got a big freaking problem i mean you can flood a portion i mean my 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 tub over there is flood from the drainage from the from the laundry right mm-hmm. and that's creeped over here you know i mean other than other than that you know i don't, I don't know if that would help in that little bit of, of yeah case. and i think this is more meant but for mass like more more of like you're going to be underwater yes. from the freaking nature yes yes um <laughs> but anyways uh but anyways back to so but if to, you did but think about it if you did spring a leak and your drain got clogged mm-hmm. you'd start building up mm-hmm. and it clogged under the door over there mm-hmm. yeah so uh but but you know they're really promoting that they're promoting these centers they're promoting they're, they're, we talked to him about I, I guess he i think he said the uh, up at the mills they have one of these first stores where they're converting their wireless stores. Because right now you go in and they're like, here's all our wireless stuff and here's all our TV stuff. Now it's going to be, and here's all our music stuff that you can do with us. And here's all the home automation and then this stuff and and, and, and and all that. So it's, it's and these are partners. They are actually, in some cases, helping some of these products get to market using their channels to push mm-hmm. them through, you know, via their stores, via other, other channels, other access using their resources. Uh, and like I said, they have kind of a competition for teenagers. Uh, for high schoolers but they also have like uh, you know we talk about you know incubators like alpha lab and stuff around here they have an application process and you can be awarded money or access or whatnot depending on what you have um and they they accept applications from anybody so i could if i have a great idea to use wireless technology to do x you know what if i got a good idea for wireless podcasting or something right i can go to them you know especially specifically if it surrounds a device I mm-hmm. would say um, I could go to them and write it up, do the process. And if they approve me, then I get to go to Boston or San Francisco and use their labs. They have uh, 4G kind of labs in there so you can test a device 
at various stages. Like they, they were showing a meter, you can pull it down to like 3G and see how it operates, for instance, and all the way up to the 4G LTE. Um, but it's not on a broad network; it's shielded. So you're just on. So you're beta testing this thing. You don't mm-hmm. want it on a public network. Um, you know, look at all the people that were eyeballing the next iPhone on the cell towers and, and everything or on, uh, on web stats, mm-hmm. you know, uh, you know, back in the day, I need an arc. I will need an arc if it gets wet up here. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. Um, but, but, but it's really cool. And, and it's, um, you know, it's, and they also talked about some other, and they, they got some great initiatives, but the big, it's definitely be, Hey, look how good our corporation is kind of thing, of course, but that's what it is. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, dude, we've all dealt with big corporations. I'm sure, you know, you, you too, when you really had the goodwill kind of side mm-hmm. of things, but it's like the raw rock go us thing. Um, but I, I thought it was really good uh, as a service provider. I still think the way I do about them, but, but as far as like some of the other things they're doing and showing, you know, I love seeing what the small guys are doing, but it's also cool to see what the big guys do too. Um, I mean, we were comparing a lot uh, in our conversations afterwards. And, and, and I think with one of the Verizon guys was actually talking with us too about like what Google's doing with all their money and building all this stuff. Right. And mm-hmm. we talk about every week and it makes the news what, how, how Amazon's going by it with drones and whatnot to deliver toilet paper to me, you know? Um, and, and then there's this stuff that Verizon's doing. Um, a lot of, uh, a lot of really cool stuff. There's actually a really good conversation I tagged in here because they're like, okay, what are you guys into? And they're like, well, you know, what are you guys, what are you guys doing with wearables? What do you guys think about what's happening with that? Um, there's one fellow that I lost a card for um, who actually does social media for a local ad agency. And they were talking about they're looking at wearables. They're looking at being able to give you a coupon when you're next to that place and stuff like that. Or know that you go to X place so many times and, you know, be able to give you a reward or something well, like that. One of the things I'm interested for in that, 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 that area of technology and i know we have to give up some of our privacy to get what we want Mm -hmm. i want the ability especially if you're in a mall that you don't frequent or or what wherever a build especially buildings like going around pittsburgh and you're looking for an office or something like that in a, a specific building i want on my phone i want the map and the floor layout or the mall layout. So it, I don't mm-hmm. want to have to go to the like to some random corner of the mall from where I'm at because we know they're usually in the four corners. Those those you are here map type things. Mm-hmm. I don't want to have to go to the opposite corner of the mall to see. Okay, I know I'm here now because I had to walk all the way here to get to this map. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see the place <laughs> on the way here. So so where is like what I'm looking for? And that's where like especially on our floors, I could see it because our conference rooms are not they're they're very randomly placed and Mm -hmm. they're not they're they're not consistent floor to floor so like some floors you may have all of the conference rooms around the center of the building and offices along around the outside some of them you may have the conference rooms around the outside but the offices in the center with the cubes in between some of them they're just Mm -hmm. random Hmm. The, this is an office. This just, is a conference room. Just adapting a very old building, I imagine. Yeah, and, and and it's floor by floor, right? We didn't take all the floors at once, so they mm-hmm. were all built. Oh, we did way. this the last time, and we didn't like how it works, so let's do it a little different this time. That's where, like, I want to be able to find things, physical things, mm-hmm. from where I'm physically at. One thing uh, that surprised me was uh, they talked about wearables, and there's a few, uh, few girls in there talking about the uh, the. Uh, baby wearables i didn't know about this where you can like monitor heartbeat and yeah stuff like like, that. like and the breathing while they're while they're sleeping and everything i was like wow that's when i have a kid i'm going to start i, to, I swear i want to start a whole new tech podcast just on like kid There's, hardware and i talk to different people about different technologies when it comes to that kind of stuff and like some people say like you can get a mat for the for the bed that mm-hmm. can help monitor the, the heartbeat and and whatnot the only thing I'm going to say about that is if you and, and this was just something someone told me and it was a recommendation against some of those products. So is, purely anecdotal. It makes you feel better until the device registers like a false negative. Oof. And your heart just sinks and drops because now you think now you're sprinting to the room because now you, you don't trust the device and right. that's the problem because if the device like like the monitors are talking about like like they're like 
you know, or just the one I saw went around the ankle. checking checking their breathing, right? Right. For instance, so you're not don't have to check in the room every five minutes to make sure like, oh, they're okay. You know, are they still good? They're you know, you know, for you know, because I mean that's touchy when they're that mm-hmm. young, right? Uh, so so you know, you get that that kind of check in on your phone instead, for instance, and there's monitors and you know, baby monitors and stuff that are you know more interesting and motion censored and. Uh, you know stuff like that uh, but yeah but again you have to trust it you know right it's like like you trust your gps until you don't anymore right you know like well wait 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 wait, wait. you know you know how many times i see somebody else handle the gps for me while i'm driving and then they get fresh like that, that doesn't make sense like well no you have to allow it says right there this is a guide don't depend on this thing mm-hmm. you know and, you know i know enough to i look at a map and it doesn't tell me right away like apple maps i notice is a little slow on the uptake to tell me to turn and if i waited for it I'm just looking away and da, 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 driving. I'm going to miss the damn turn or it's a complicated one where I got to get a lane over or I got to make sure I miss, I make this ramp and not, not the road. You know? That actually happened with a, with the onboard GPS in the car. If the you're in day. Jersey, if you're in Jersey, give up. I'm going to tell you those, the, the ramp left things, you're not even going to survive well, with the GPS. There, there was this weird turn off of, I think it's Brownsville or 51. I think it was Brownsville. And like, it was almost like a U-turn to to like turn up the street. Mm-hmm. But at the U-turn, as soon as you did the U-turn, there was a fork in the road. But then the road ran extremely close but parallel. Listen, and sometimes... it actually thought I made the wrong. It thought I got on the wrong road, but I was actually mm-hmm. on the right road. Mm-hmm. And... and you got to know enough to be able to look at the GPS and be like, no, you're wrong. No, yeah. No, you're wrong. Quit recalculating. No, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure you're wrong. Well, because but... then it spent the next good 20 seconds recalculating twice mm-hmm. because it had to recalculate thinking I was on the wrong and road and hopefully you <laughs> didn't have to make the exact next turn that was right. in 10 feet yeah so yeah I know it, it, it's why it's a guide and they say mm-hmm. that you know and, and there's a reason other cool things came out of it this hey so I I, I asked for this one specifically because I saw it in the little promo video that they put up there which I'm sure you can probably find on their website too something called the golden eye look at that thing and that's golden hyphen I. You can go to mygoldeneye.com to find out about it. Uh, the new Gen 3.8 headset computer has been designed to improve productivity, efficiency, and safety in the light industrial sector. Uh, building, a building camera and more processing powder. I, I was confused on whether they were talking about this one in particular, but they have something like this that they have for uh, firefighters first responders that will actually kind of see through the smoke and see the mm-hmm. walls and stuff, uh, which is pretty cool. The other thing they were telling me about uh, one of the big innovations that they're very happy with, of course, uh, was the idea that first responders, people are like, they're there, the fire is happening. They ran in. Now they're going to be the last to know all the new information that comes after, mm-hmm. right? Cause they ran in, they're not going to get anything else. Like, you know, I guess suppose they should be getting it on the radio, but did that really work? You know, how many floors up on nine 11, for mm-hmm. instance. Um, but now because of technology like this cell cell technology and everything, they can kind of get through and, uh, and, and they're not the last ones to know now and they can get the new information and, and hopefully be a little safer. Um, which again, my idea, my thought was like, you know, if they had that kind of technology when that happened, you know, maybe, you know, it could have uh, saved a couple extra people there. So, um, but no, some really, really cool stuff there. Um, so I'm going to go look. They actually, they, they, and they also talked a little bit about one of the, I can't remember the name of it. One of the big uh, cloud servers in Carolina, I think. Uh, I think mm. there may, maybe one in Florida as well. Um, and, and, uh, and, and about how, interesting those those buildings were and i guess they're a part of it or at least their cloud stuff is on it i think because i think it is a whole other company uh oh one's in miami and the other one's in like north carolina or virginia so um i don't know and they said they have standing invitations if i'm ever out in one of the areas to go check the facility out so i'm wondering maybe going to if we go to san francisco this year to check that one out cool so um but no really cool it was kind of a fun event a lot of familiar faces there because of course it's a blogger thing so I knew a few people there. Um, so, uh, uh, but yeah. Uh, so that's, if you want to check out some of the stuff we were talking about, like I said, mygoldeneye.com, the letter I.com. 
Uh, innovation.verizon.com talks about a little bit of that and get you get to the stuff about their innovation center. You can see pictures and videos of some cool stuff that's never going to release. Like they talked about like there's you saw in that video a, a bicycle with a computer on it. We never want to release that because we're, we're going to get in trouble. Um, but there you go. Um, let's do a quick hit on a few of these. I got a quick one that I wanted to yeah. talk about actually. Yeah, yeah. So and.